Um, well, it's important for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first is that um, the, the way that it's going to adjust is going to automatically kind of take all of the noise out that people typically see. You know, a lot of people like to talk about uh, these types of solutions as like GPS. So they always like to say it's like Google Maps. Um, the thing is, though, a lot of those when if, if, you, if Google Maps didn't, for example, have uh, speed limit information, when you went to pass a truck, it would tell you you're suddenly going to get there in half the time. Um, and from a forecasting standpoint, that's that's what a lot of these do is they think about it in terms of let's look at six months out. What are we going to be forecasting? And we're going to, generally speaking, over adjust as we kind of do that. The short term prediction algorithm is looking at just over the horizon that you actually need to execute on. Let's make sure that we're predicting that accurately rather than trying to guess what's going to happen six to nine months from now so that we can make sure that we're being extremely accurate within the horizon that you're actually going to need to execute against.